I went through a season where it seemed even getting a breath was a struggle. And when the climb of that mountain seemed it would never end. To get one foot in front of another, it was so hard. Cause that mountain was so steep. Then it came to the place where the climb was just impossible. I didn't have the needed strength. There wasn't even a foothold I could see. And I almost gave up. That's when something happened. Oh, that's when the climb, it got so much easier. And I looked down, and my feet were in the air. I was walking, I was walking in God's hands. Was walking in God's hands. His spirit was holding me up. His word that I'd taken deep in my heart brought me his peace. Suddenly in the struggle. Praise came bursting forth. And stood. that moment I'll never forget what I gained I'll never forget what I gained now when I'm facing a mountain and it looks so very steep that it seems just looking at it to take my breath away Seems there's no footholds and no way to gain. I remember that mountain that I climbed on that day. And I find there the strength. I find the peace. I find the faith that I claimed. And the same sweet spirit of my Savior. Me over that next mountain till heaven I gained, and that my dear friend, that my dear brother, that's what I gained. I was walking in God's hands. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! His spirit was holding me up. Thank you, God. His word that I'd taken down deep in my heart, it started bringing me His peace. And no matter what it looked like, I had His peace. And suddenly, in the struggle, praise came bursting forth. Instead of a struggle, I was able to run. And I'll never forget the joy of that moment. I'll never forget what I gained. Now for a season, you know, we grow all fat and lazy, we did. And everything seemed too easy. We let the devil slowly rock us to sleep. But now there's a mountain that it seems the whole world is climbing. It seems to take our very breath away. It seemed it's impossible. 
impossible to climb. Oh, cause it looks way too steep. But we serve a God that is supernatural. And he specializes in the impossible. So just start climbing. Keep pressing on in his strength. Keep climbing in his peace. And when we reach the top, we'll praise him. We can walk in God's hands. conversation that I had with my neighbor and my dear friend she's 80 some years old I'm not going to (laughs) tell and she's an amazing person she got COVID and she told me later that if she hadn't gone to the hospital when she did she believed that she would have died she's very seriously sick and we were talking after what she went through you know it's such a real testimony because so many people are so afraid of getting COVID and they live every day in that fear young people and older people and if they could have just heard her talk that day they would just get rid of that fear because she was praising God for having brought her through it and because she was praising God for what she had gained in her life and in her spirit through that battle COVID is not our God it can't destroy us if we're walking in God's hands he'll give us the strength to go through whatever it is that we're facing the enemy right now is thriving on fear And I'm talking about that physical enemy out there. Those people that are trying to take over and control our country and control the world. The tool that they have used from the very beginning is fear of this thing. And when we realize that in God's hands, we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be afraid of COVID. We don't have to be afraid of tomorrow. Because if we walk with our God today, tomorrow is His is in His hands, and we will overcome whatever we have to face. God has a plan to bring you out victorious, and His plan was settled from the beginning of time. He knew what you would be facing. He knew what the world would be going through at this time. That's why in the scriptures it was written, all the things that He's written there about how he's going to work this work at the end time and all these things that are going to happen. We're not being defeated. This thing is going to polish us and shine us. Just like she said, we'll be thankful for what we gained when we come out the other end of this thing. We've been so petted and so spoiled for so long. That we didn't know what it was to have to face a battle. And then all of a sudden the world turned upside down. Praise God for the turn that the world is upside down. Praise Him for what you'll gain. You're going to come out of this thing better, stronger, more dedicated to the Lord. 
and you'll come out of it wanting his spirit to move even more than it ever has in your life and you will praise him for what we gained and the whole world will praise him for what he's done through this battle we are overcomers we're not in defeat raise your head up raise your hands up and praise him for what you will gain amen hallelujah hallelujah walk on in God's hands his spirit holds you up and his word that you take none down deep in your heart it will bring you his peace no matter what's going on and suddenly His praise will burn forth. Instead of struggling, you'll be able to run. You'll never forget the joy of that moment. And you'll never forget what you battle and the struggle we come out with victory we get 